Hello, welcome to RCC News. I'm Gordana Griaska. This painting behind me is of the character Flacco and it won the 2009 Archibald Packing Room Prize. It was painted by local artist Paul Jackson. Paul Livingston, who plays the character Flacco, was at first stunned by the portrait Paul Jackson painted of him. When I first saw it and the scale of it, I got scared, but I've gradually grown to like the painting. And Paul's put a lot of depth into my character, which um, I didn't know was there, so I'm very happy to actually find there's more to me that it, than first met my own eye. Born into an artistic family, it seemed logical that Paul Jackson would follow those footsteps. It is not a matter of telling your parents anything. It is a matter of that's how it is, that's how you were born, and that's how it will stay. It is in the blood, it is a thing you were born with. The, the life I had as a youth involved artists, musicians, actors, and has remained that way. It has never been any other way for me. In fact, I can't understand anyone who doesn't live that way. What inspires me to paint, the necessity to measure my life Painting is like little milestones. Each time you finish a painting, you do actually fit yourself into a milestone. You actually give birth to an idea in a sense. It is a protection against one's mortality in a sense. Long after one is gone, uh, the paintings hopefully still remain. So you are in fact uh, creating a kind of life insurance. So paintings are an expression of some hope that there's a future beyond one's own person. In 2006 he won the Archibald People's Choice Award with this painting of actor Gary MacDonald. But when it was announced that he had won, he was holidaying with his wife in New York. We went into a small hole in the wall and uh, an Australian uh, barista had just opened a little cafe there and it was only been open for a few days and uh, we went there to get a coffee and um, it turned out in, in the, just the general melee of the conversation and the noise in there that uh, he had just been on the internet looking at the Archibald prize because he was very aware of it and, and we got into conversation I said oh you know what painting did you uh, like and he said oh I like the one of Gary MacDonald you did and he didn't know of course I was a painter so I then said I am the artist you know um, and it turned out that he knew and I'd just won the People's Choice and I didn't know. And he said, well, you've just won the People's Choice. And of course, I was flabbergasted. In a way, Paul Jackson's painting helped Gary MacDonald with his battle with depression. Gary uh, is known as a depressive. Um, and at first, he had to climb out of that state of mind in order to look at the painting. But over a period of time, in fact, a year, uh, one got the impression that he was starting to realise the point of the painting and in fact in, in the end I think helped him quite a lot to, to um, you know, put his Gunston figure in particular in perspective, which I had done. I had purposely made the Gunston doll in the painting quite small, in fact no larger than roughly the size of his hand, and made his own figure very large so I allowed him in the painting to dominate that, that character, that alter ego. And so his emotional response gradually uh, went with the painting and um, he was encouraged by other people, I would have to say, a lot of other people saying that this work is very fine, in fact, and is a, it is a very good representation of his personal situation and condition. And I, 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 I'm reluctant to speak for him, but I think he uh, found it to be, you know, very worthy uh, on a lot of levels. We certainly got on very well and the, the painting seemed to uh, be a strong point of conversation. Being the subjects of the Portraits of the People's Choice Award and the Packing Room Prize helped Gary MacDonald's and Paul Livingston's careers. Well, actually, I'm, I, I did really well out of, out, of, um, out of the Packers Prize. There was a lot of... I got a lot of gigs, actually, out of, out of, in art galleries. I opened the Bendigo Art Gallery when the Archibald went there. I did a lot of talks at the gallery after that for about a year, and it was, um, it was really good for my career. Paul Jackson's even had a former Prime Minister sit for him to paint his portrait. Only a small portion of Paul Jackson's paintings are portraits of people who have sat for him. Most are of people who are not real. Images he's been able to paint from his imagination, like this painting. This is your 2010 entry into the Archibald. Now, this was rejected. Why? I think you'd have to ask the judges that, uh, essentially. Uh, they move in mysterious ways. Uh, when an artist produce, produces a painting like this, I think it's always a risk that they will see the introduction of another element in the painting other than the self-portrait which is here 
the, the introduction of another element which is larger than the portrait element may cause them to think uh, this painting is really a subject painting. Um, uh, if that is the reason, I actually agree with them. That is the reason. Though, in fact, within the rules of the Archibald, this painting fits exactly into, into that pocket. Whilst you can get a sense of how intricate his paintings are in this video, it's not until you see them in person that you can fully appreciate them. This has been an RCC News production and is copyright. RCC News is produced by the City Media and Events Unit. Gordana Grouska speaking.